It's official, Taylor Swift is en route to Sydney as she continues her sold-out Eras tour in Australia. The megastar, 34, was spotted boarding her private jet in Melbourne on Monday morning, after wrapping up her third and final show at the MCG on Sunday night. Showing off her long legs, the Shake It Off hitmaker was seen arriving at the aircraft in a dark mini skirt paired with a red t-shirt that revealed a glimpse of midriff. She completed her look with a baseball cap, allowing her long blonde hair to fall freely behind her back. Swift was accompanied by her entourage as she climbed the stairs of her Bombardier Global 6000 aircraft, which boasts a double bed and fine dining cabin. The sighting marks the first time Swift has been spotted in public in Australia. While Australians have seen the likes of Kourtney Kardashian, Travis Barker, and Pink. Out and about in public in recent weeks, Swift has managed to completely evade the spotlight while down under. Taylor jetted into Melbourne to kick off her Australian tour in a private jet earlier this month, and was quickly whisked away from the airport by a convoy of black SUVs. She arrived at the MCG in Melbourne on Friday in a similarly low-key manner, driving up to the venue with an FBI-style cavalcade of blacked-out Land Rovers, Swift's departure for Sydney comes after she made shock on-stage announcement in Melbourne on Sunday evening about her upcoming shows in New South Wales. Swift told the packed crowd she was revising her rule of never performing the same acoustic surprise song more than once on her era's tour. I want to be as creative as possible with the acoustic set moving forward and I don't want to limit anything or say, if I played this song, I can't play it again, Swift began, so, from now on, I don't want to take any paint colors out of the paint box or tools out of the toolbox. I want to be able to play songs more than once if I feel like it and I want to be able to make changes to songs. Does that sound okay? She added. It thought Swift is staying in a private mansion in Sydney's eastern suburbs while she is in the New South Wales capital.